The word of the week is... If you are sorry, you feel regret, sadness, this disappointment. Gosh, what does sorry mean? Yeah. There's been lots of times when I do things wrong and I regret. Um, so sorry is just an opportunity sometimes to try and make it right with that person. So, um, so yeah, so it's, it's important to sometimes acknowledge that we have done something wrong. So, um, but I also think it's good when um, I feel hurt because of something somebody's done to me if they say sorry to me. Does that help you? Do you say sorry very often? Yeah. And when do you say sorry? Yeah, when you've done an accident or done something wrong, isn't it? Yeah, so I'm a bit like that as well. So there's lots of times we do, I do things that I, I feel bad about or I regret that I've done and I want to make it right. So sorry is about trying to make it right again with that person. Particularly if I hurt somebody like that I've done. So, um, so I think it's a great word. I don't think I use it enough, and I'm going to try this length and just say sorry more often to the people I've hurt. Okay, is that helpful for you? Okay. Sorry is a, is a word that I have to use a lot, and sometimes I don't do the good things that I should do. So I might maybe say something not nice to somebody or um, do something that I shouldn't have done. So to me, sorry is a, is a way of putting things right with somebody. Because if I don't put things right with somebody, then we won't talk to each other and we won't like each other. So when I say sorry, I'm trying to put things right and say, look, I got it wrong. And I, so I have to admit that I got something wrong. And I'm trying to put it right. And sorry for me also means I'm gonna try not to do that again because it might hurt, well it does, when I do wrong things, it hurts people. So when I say sorry and say, uh, look, I shouldn't have done it. I know I shouldn't have done it. I'm going to try not to do that again. Does that make sense? Oh, do you say sorry sometimes? When do you say sorry? Um, uh, when I tell people off when it's only the teacher's job to tell people off. Oh, right. So, and do you mean it when you say you're sorry? Ah, then that, that's an important thing, isn't it? When I do say sorry, I have to mean. Oh, that's, a big, that's a big job for Lent, isn't it? So it also means I'm going to try not to do that again. Do you think we both could try for Lent? Will we shake hands on it? Excellent. We say sorry. We read the book. Sorry. Oh. Sorry by Norbert Lander and Tim Warnes. Bear and Rabbit were the best friends you can imagine. They lived in their bear rabbit house. They cooked their bear rabbit meals in their bear rabbit kitchen. Rabbit was better at frying mushrooms. Bear was perfect at making honey cakes. At night they slept in their bear rabbit bunk bed. <coughs> rabbit slept below. 
bear slept above because he was better at climbing. In summer they lived in their tree house. Rabbit told stories to bear because he was better at telling stories. It was a wonderful feeling being a good friend and having a good friend. Once in the morning, Rabbit saw something blinking and twinkling in the sun. Look, Bear, he said. What's that down there? Bear lowered Rabbit to the ground in his basket and climbed down. Then they ran to look for the strange thing. Bear went right up close and looked into it. He had never seen a thing so shiny. Goodness, he said. It's a picture of me. Look, Rabbit, what fluffy bear ears I have. So Rabbit looked into the shiny thing. You're kidding, he said. It's a picture of me. My pretty long ears, don't you see them? You are completely wrong, said Bear, grabbing the shiny thing. These are small and round and fluffy bear ears. This is my picture. Rabbit grabbed, and Bear pulled, and Rabbit pushed, and Bear tugged, and the two of them tore the shiny thing into two. Then they both stormed off with their own little piece. Oh, how mad Rabbit was. He strode back to Bear Rabbit house and slammed the door. Then he stuck the shiny thing to the wall so he could look at his picture and proudly say, wonderful, pretty, long ears. Then he went to bed. What else could he do? Alone in Bear Rabbit house. Meanwhile, Angry Bear climbed up the tree house and stuck his piece to the wall. He sat down on the cushion to admire himself and his round, fluffy ears. Then he looked down to Bear Rabbit house I could really do without such a friend, he grumbled. Evening came and night came, but Rabbit could not sleep, and he wasn't angry anymore. How silly I was, he sighed. How good it would be to have Bear here with me, so I could tell him a wonderful good night story. Up in the treehouse, Bear stared at the moon. He was sad, and he felt lonely, just like Rabbit. What can I do to make Rabbit happy and be my friend again, he thought. Then Bear had an idea. He took his little piece of the shiny thing and climbed down the tree. Quietly, he padded to Bear Rabbit's house. But Rabbit was not in bed either. He was standing outside, holding in his hand his own little piece. When he saw Bear, Rabbit walked towards him and whispered, Sorry, Bear. You can have my picture. Oh, no, I'm sorry, Bear said, and gave him his own. But when they got into a puddle and looked at the shiny things, what did they see? A picture of both of them. That's just perfect, said Bear and Rabbit happily. They tore the shiny thing. They both stormed off. The rabbit was sad. Bear is lonely. Bear went to rabbit. Rabbit, wait for a bit. The rabbit whispered sorry. This, this week's scripture is 1 John 1 9. After this scripture, we look to the world. It reminds us that if we say sorry to God, He will forgive us and keep His promise. How do you say?
related to a mission statement. If we say sorry for the mistakes we make and comfort others, we are helping make a better tomorrow where people are happier. Our reflection this week is to say the shiny thing prayer. In small groups, gather around and look into the shiny thing. Look at your reflection and think about the times you have felt sorry. Quietly say a sorry prayer to God for these times. Your mission this week is to say sorry and forgive others when they say sorry to you.